The meter, Commonwealth spelling and BIPM spelling, or meter, American spelling, from the French unit meter, from the Greek noun metron, measure, is the base unit of length in the International System of Units (SI). The SI unit symbol is m. The meter is defined as the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum in 1299,792,458 of a second. The meter was originally defined in 1793 as one ten millionth of the distance from the equator to the North Pole along a great circle, so that said distance would amount to simply 10,000 kilometers and ease global navigational computation. As a result, the Earth's circumference is approximately 40,000 kilometers. In 1799, the meter was redefined in terms of a prototype meter bar the actual bar used was changed in 1889. In 1960, the meter was redefined in terms of a certain number of wavelengths of a certain emission line of Krypton 86. In 1983, the current definition was adopted. The imperial inch is defined as 0.0254 m, 2.54 cm or 25.4 mm. 1 m is about 3 and 3 8 inches longer than a yard, i.e. about 39 and 3 8 inches. Topic: Spelling Meter is the standard spelling of the metric unit for length in nearly all English-speaking nations except the United States and the Philippines, which use meter. Other Germanic languages, such as German, Dutch, and the Scandinavian languages likewise spell the word meter. Measuring devices such as ammeter, speedometer are spelled meter in all variants of English. The suffix meter has the same Greek origin as the unit of length. Topic. Etymology The etymological roots of meter can be traced to the Greek verb metrio, metrio to measure, count or compare and noun metron, metron a measure, which were used for physical measurement, for poetic meter and by extension for moderation or avoiding extremism as in, be measured in your response. This range of uses is also found in Latin meteor, mensura, French meter, mature, English and other languages. The motto Metrocro Metro -cro in the seal of the International Bureau of Weights and Measures BIPM, which was a saying of the Greek statesman and philosopher Pittacus of Mytilene and may be translated as, "...use measure", thus calls for both measurement and moderation. The use of the word meter, for the French unit meter in English began at least as early as 1797. History of definition In 1671 Jean Picard measured the length of a «seconds pendulum» a pendulum with a period of two seconds at the Paris Observatory. He found the value of 440.5 lines of the toys of Châtelet which had been recently renewed. He proposed a universal toys, French, toys universelle, which was twice the length of the seconds pendulum. However, it was soon discovered that the length of a second's pendulum varies from place to place. French astronomer Jean Richer had measured the 0.3% difference in length between Cayenne in French Guiana and Paris. Jean Richer and Giovanni Domenico Cassini measured the parallax of Mars between Paris and Cayenne in French Guiana when Mars was at its closest to Earth in 1672. They arrived at a figure for the solar parallax of 91 halves of an inch, equivalent to an Earth-Sun distance of about 22,000 Earth radii. They were also the first astronomers to have access to an accurate and reliable value for the radius of Earth, which had been measured by their colleague Jean Picard in 1669 as 3,269,000 toises. Picard's geodetic observations had been confined to the determination of the magnitude of the Earth considered as a sphere, but the discovery made by Jean Richer turned the attention of mathematicians to its deviation from a spherical form. In addition to its significance for cartography, the determination of the figure of the Earth became a problem of the highest importance in astronomy, inasmuch as the diameter of the Earth was the unit to which all celestial distances had to be referred. Topic. Meridional definition 
As a result of the French Revolution, the French Academy of Sciences charged a commission with determining a single scale for all measures. On 7 October 1790 that commission advised the adoption of a decimal system, and on 19 March 1791 advised the adoption of the term metre measure", a basic unit of length, which they defined as equal to one ten millionth of the distance between the North Pole and the equator. In 1793, the French National Convention adopted the proposal. The French Academy of Sciences commissioned an expedition led by Jean Baptiste Joseph de Lambry and Pierre Mecken, lasting from 1792 to 1799, which attempted to accurately measure the distance between a belfry in Dunkirk and Montjuïc Castle in Barcelona at the longitude of Paris Pantheon. The expedition was fictionalized in Denis Guedj, Le Meter du Monde. Ken Alder wrote factually about the expedition in The Measure of All Things, the seven-year odyssey and hidden era that transformed the world. This portion of the Paris meridian, was to serve as the basis for the length of the half meridian connecting the North Pole with the equator. From 1801 to 1812 France adopted this definition of the meter as its official unit of length based on results from this expedition combined with those of the geodesic mission to Peru. The latter was related by Larry D. Ferrero in Measure of the Earth, the Enlightenment expedition that reshaped our world. A more accurate determination of the figure of the Earth would soon result from the measurement of the Struve Geodetic Arc 1816-1855, and would have given another value for the definition of this standard of length. This did not invalidate the meter but highlighted that progresses in science would allow better measurement of Earth's size and shape. After the July Revolution of 1830 the meter became the definitive French standard from 1840. At that time it had already been adopted by Ferdinand Rudolf Hasselaar for the U.S. Survey of the Coast. The unit of length to which all distances measured in the Coast Survey are referred is the French meter, an authentic copy of which is preserved in the archives of the Coast Survey Office. It is the property of the American Philosophical Society, to whom it was presented by Mr. Hassler, who had received it from Trails, a member of the French Committee charged with the construction of the standard meter by comparison with the toys, which had served as unit of length in the measurement of the meridional arcs in France and Peru. It possesses all the authenticity of any original meter extant, bearing not only the stamp of the committee but also the original mark by which it was distinguished from the other bars during the operation of standarding. It is always designated as the committee meter. French, Meter des Archives. Clark, Alexander Ross 1873. 13. Results of the comparisons of the standards of length of England, Austria, Spain, United States, Cape of Good Hope, and of a second Russian standard, made at the Ordnance Survey Office, Southampton. With a preface and notes on the Greek and Egyptian measures of length by Sir Henry James. Philosophical Transactions, London, 163, p. 463, DOI, 10.1098, RSTL.1873.0014 In 1830 President Andrew Jackson mandated Ferdinand Rudolf Hassler to work out new standards for all U.S. states. According to the decision of the Congress of the United States, the British Parliamentary Standard from 1758 was introduced as the unit of length. Another geodesist with metrology skills was to play a pivotal role in the process of internationalization of weights and measures, Carlos Ibanez e Ibanez de Ibero who would become the first president of both the International Geodetic Association and the International Committee for Weights and Measures. <laughs> <laughs> International prototype meter bar In 1867 at the Second General Conference of the International Association of Geodesy held in Berlin, the question of an international standard unit of length was discussed in order to combine the measurements made in different countries to determine the size and shape of the Earth. The conference recommended the adoption of the meter in replacement of the toys and the creation of an international meter commission. According to the proposal of Johann Jacob Bayer, Adolf Hirsch, and Carlos Ibanez e Ibanez de Ibero, who had devised two geodetic standards calibrated on the meter for the map of Spain. 
Measurement traceability between the toys and the meter was ensured by comparison of the Spanish standard with the standard devised by Border and Lavoisier for the survey of the Meridian Arc connecting Dunkirk with Barcelona. A member of the Preparatory Committee since 1870 and Spanish representative at the Paris Conference in 1875, Carlos Ibanez e Ibanez de Ibero intervened with the French Academy of Sciences to rally France to the project to create an international bureau of weights and measures equipped with the scientific means necessary to redefine the units of the metric system according to the progress of sciences. In the 1870s and in light of modern precision, a series of international conferences was held to devise new metric standards. The Meter Convention, Convention du Meter of 1875 mandated the establishment of a permanent International Bureau of Weights and Measures BIPM, Bureau International des Poids et Measures to be located in Sèvres, France. This new organization was to construct and preserve a prototype meter bar, distribute national metric prototypes, and maintain comparisons between them and non-metric measurement standards. The organization distributed such bars in 1889 at the first General Conference on Weights and Measures CGPM, Conference Générale des Poids et Measures, establishing the international prototype meter as the distance between two lines on a standard bar composed of an alloy of 90% platinum and 10% iridium, measured at the melting point of ice. The comparison of the new prototypes of the meter with each other and with the committee meter French, Meter des Archives involved the development of special measuring equipment and the definition of a reproducible temperature scale. The BIPM's thermometry work led to the discovery of special alloys of iron-nickel, in particular INVA, for which its director, the Swiss physicist charles Édouard Guillaume, was granted the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1920. As Carlos Ibanez e Ibanez de Ibero stated, the progress of metrology combined with those of gravimetry through improvement of Cater's pendulum led to a new era of geodesy. If precision metrology had needed the help of geodesy, the latter could not continue to prosper without the help of metrology. Indeed how to express all the measurements of terrestrial arcs as a function of a single unit, and all the determinations of the force of gravity with the pendulum, if metrology had not created a common unit, adopted and respected by all civilized nations, and if in addition one had not compared, with great precision, to the same unit all the standards for measuring geodesic bases, and all the pendulum rods that had hitherto been used or would be used in the future. Only when this series of metrological comparisons would be finished with a probable error of a thousandth of a millimeter would geodesy be able to link the works of the different nations with one another, and then proclaim the result of the last measurement of the globe. As the figure of the Earth could be inferred from variations of the second's pendulum length with latitude, the United States Coast Survey instructed Charles Sanders Pierce in the spring of 1875 to proceed to Europe for the purpose of making pendulum experiments to chief initial stations for operations of this sort, in order to bring the determinations of the forces of gravity in America into communication with those of other parts of the world, and also for the purpose of making a careful study of the methods of pursuing these researches in the different countries of Europe. Europe. In 1886 the Association of Geodesy changed name for the International Geodetic Association, which Carlos Ibanez e Ibanez de Ibero presided up to his death in 1891. During this period the International Geodetic Association German, International Erdmessung, gained worldwide importance with the joining of United States, Mexico, Chile, Argentina and Japan, efforts to supplement the various national surveying systems, which begun in the 19th century with the foundation of the Mitteleuropäische Gradmessung, resulted in a series of global ellipsoids of the Earth e.g., Helmert 1906, Hayford 1910-1924 which would later lead to develop the world geodetic system. Nowadays the practical realization of the meter is possible everywhere thanks to the atomic clocks embedded in GPS satellites. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Wavelength definition. In 1893, the standard meter was first measured with an interferometer by Albert A. Michelson, the inventor of the device and an advocate of using some particular wavelength of light as a standard of length. By 1925, interferometry was in regular use at the BIPM. 
However, the international prototype meter remained the standard until 1960, when the 11th CGPM defined the meter in the new International System of Units SI as equal to 1,650,763.73 wavelengths of the orange-red emission line in the electromagnetic spectrum of the Krypton-86 atom in a vacuum. Topic. Speed of light definition To further reduce uncertainty, the 17th CGPM in 1983 replaced the definition of the meter with its current definition, thus fixing the length of the meter in terms of the second and the speed of light. The meter is the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 1299,792,458 of a second. This definition fixed the speed of light in vacuum at exactly 299,792,458 meters per second, approximately equals 300,000 kilometers per second. An intended byproduct of the 17th CGPM's definition was that it enabled scientists to compare lasers accurately using frequency, resulting in wavelengths with one fifth the uncertainty involved in the direct comparison of wavelengths, because interferometer errors were eliminated. To further facilitate reproducibility from lab to lab, the 17th CGPM also made the iodine stabilized helium neon laser a recommended radiation for realizing the meter. For the purpose of delineating the meter, the BIPM currently considers the Hene laser wavelength lambda Hene, to be 632.9912125 nm with an estimated relative standard uncertainty U, of 2.1 times 11. This uncertainty is currently one limiting factor in laboratory realizations of the meter, and it is several orders of magnitude poorer than that of the second, based upon the cesium fountain atomic clock, U equals 5 times 10 minus 16. Consequently, a realization of the meter is usually delineated not defined today in labs as 1,579,800.762042-33 wavelengths of helium neon laser light in a vacuum, the error stated being only that of frequency determination. This bracket notation expressing the error is explained in the article on measurement uncertainty. Practical realization of the meter is subject to uncertainties in characterizing the medium, to various uncertainties of interferometry, and to uncertainties in measuring the frequency of the source. A commonly used medium is air, and the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, has set up an online calculator to convert wavelengths in vacuum to wavelengths in air. As described by NIST, in air, the uncertainties in characterizing the medium are dominated by errors in measuring temperature and pressure. Errors in the theoretical formulas used are secondary. By implementing a refractive index correction such as this, an approximate realization of the meter can be implemented in air, for example, using the formulation of the meter as 1,579,800.762042-33 wavelengths of helium neon laser light in vacuum, and converting the wavelengths in a vacuum to wavelengths in air. Air is only one possible medium to use in a realization of the meter, and any partial vacuum can be used, or some inert atmosphere like helium gas, provided the appropriate corrections for refractive index are implemented. The meter is defined as the path length traveled by light in a given time, and practical laboratory length measurements in meters are determined by counting the number of wavelengths of laser light of one of the standard types that fit into the length, and converting the selected unit of wavelength to meters. Three major factors limit the accuracy attainable with laser interferometers for a length measurement Uncertainty in vacuum wavelength of the source Uncertainty in the refractive index of the medium Least count resolution of the interferometer, of these, the last is peculiar to the interferometer itself. The conversion of a length in wavelengths to a length in meters is based upon the relation lambda equals c N F display style lambda equals frac C N F, which converts the unit of wavelength lambda to meters using C, the speed of light in vacuum in meter per second. Here N is the refractive index of the medium in which the measurement is made, and F is the measured frequency of the source. 
Although conversion from wavelengths to meters introduces an additional error in the overall length due to measurement error in determining the refractive index and the frequency, the measurement of frequency is one of the most accurate measurements available. Topic: <laughs> Timeline The 8th of May 1790 the French National Assembly decides that the length of the new meter would be equal to the length of a pendulum with a half period of 1 second. The 30th of March 1791 the French National Assembly accepts the proposal by the French Academy of Sciences that the new definition for the meter be equal to 1/10 millionth of the length of a quadrant along the Earth's meridian through Paris that is the distance from the equator to the north pole along that quadrant. 1795 provisional meter bar made of brass and based on Paris Meridian arc French Meridien de France measured by Nicolas Louis de Lacaille and César François Cassini de Thierry legally equal to 443.44 lines of the Toys du Pérou a standard French unit of length from 1766 the 10th of December 1799 the French National Assembly specifies the platinum meter bar presented on the 22nd of June 1799 and deposited in the National Archives as the final standard legally equal to 443.296 lines on the Toys du Pérou 24 to 28 September 1889 the first general conference on weights and measures CGPM defines the meter as the distance between two lines on a standard bar of an alloy of platinum with 10% iridium measured at the melting point of ice the 27th of September to the 6th of October 1927 the 7th CGPM redefines the meter as the distance at 0 degrees Celsius 273K between the axes of the two central lines marked on the prototype bar of platinum iridium this bar being subject to one standard atmosphere of pressure and supported on two cylinders of at least 10 mm 1 cm diameter symmetrically placed in the same horizontal plane at a distance of 571 mm 57 7.1 cm from each other. The 14th of October 1960, the 11th CGPM defines the meter as 1,650,763.73 wavelengths in a vacuum of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the 2p10 and 5d5 quantum levels of the krypton 86 atom. The 21st of October 1983, the 17th CGPM defines the meter as the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum during a time interval of 1299,792,458 of a second. 2002, the International Committee for Weights and Measures (CIPM) considers the meter to be a unit of proper length and thus recommends this definition be restricted to lengths which are sufficiently short for the effects predicted by general relativity to be negligible with respect to the uncertainties of realization. <laughs> SI prefixed forms of meter SI prefixes are often employed to denote decimal multiples and submultiples of the meter, as shown in the table below. As indicated in the table, some are commonly used, while others are not. Long distances are usually expressed in km, astronomical units 149.6 gigameters, light years 10 petameters, or parsecs 31 petameters, rather than in mm, gm, trademark, pm, m, zm or ym, 30 centimeters, 30 meters, and 300 meters, are more common than 3 decimeters. 3 decameters and 3 hectometers respectively the terms micron and occasionally millimicron are often used instead of micrometer mm and nanometer nanometer but this practice is officially discouraged topic <laughs> equivalence in other units within this table inch and Yard mean international inch and international yard, respectively, though approximate conversions in the left column hold for both international and survey units. Approximately equals means is approximately equal to means equal by definition or is exactly equal to 
1 meter is exactly equivalent to 5,127 of an inch and to 1 and 251,143 yards. A simple mnemonic aid exists to assist with conversion, as 3, 3, s 1 meter is nearly equivalent to 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths inches. This gives an overestimate of 0.125 mm. However, the practice of memorizing such conversion formulas has been discouraged in favor of practice and visualization of metric units. The ancient Egyptian cubit was about 0.5 m, surviving rods are 523 to 529 mm. Scottish and English definitions of the L two cubits were 941 mm 0.941 m and 1,143 mm 1.143 m respectively. The ancient Parisian toys fathom was slightly shorter than 2 m and was standardized at exactly 2 m in the measures usual system, such that 1 m was exactly one half toys. The Russian verst was 1.0668 km. The Swedish mill was 10.688 km, but was changed to 10 km when Sweden converted to metric units. See also Conversion of units for comparisons with other units International system of units Introduction to the metric system ISO 1 standard reference temperature for length measurements Length measurement Meter convention Metric system Metric prefix Metrication Orders of magnitude length SI prefix Speed of light Vertical meter Notes <laughs>